Who's ready to work out? Today we're doing a 10 minute total body workout with Justin. Let's get started. First we're starting off with squats. Come down, stand up. Now make sure you keep your heels on the ground. Stick your butt out and focus on those legs. If your lower back hurts, don't do it. Now right now, I'm just teaching Justin how to do a squat. He's not sticking his butt all the way out, he's pushing it in. So I want you to stick your butt out, Justin, stick it out. Okay, well, he won't do it. So just do the best you can. And if you're women, you're gonna stick your butt out like you're sitting over a nasty toilet in a white dress. Come all the way down and up, touch the floor if you can, but I do not want your knees to hurt. If your knees hurt, sit down and stand up in a chair. That's totally fine. Exhale on the way up, let's keep going. We have a few more. Keep going, you should only feel this in the front of your legs, not so much in your lower back. One more, perfect. Now let's do some hand walks. For those who are not able to do hand walks, do it in a chair, then come all the way back up. So this exercise is great for our shoulders, our chest, and for our abs and hamstrings. What you're gonna do is, sit, what are you gonna do is come all the way down, walk on your hands into a plank position and come all the way back up. Take your time. You don't have to go as fast as me or as fast as Justin, but do as what you can. Do the best that you can. Your lower back may hurt a little bit, but what I want you to focus on is doing your best to keep your hamstrings straight during the movement. Keep going. This is a great exercise if you don't have a lot of time to do your shoulders, your arms, and your abs all at the same time. Breathe. Do not hold your breath on this movement. It's very easy for a lot of my clients to hold their breath on this movement. Take your break when you need to. You got it. Do your best to beat yourself every time that you do this workout. All right, guys, we got a few more coming. Oh, come on, Justin, you got it. Come on, there you go. One more, one more. Awesome. Now let's get started in the push-ups. Push-ups are here. Good. You do not have to do, you can do the push-ups on your knees or on your toes. Either way, make sure you take your backside with you. <laughs> take a break when you need to. Even I took a break. But we're going to keep going. Push-ups are a great way to tone up the chest and the flabby arm part behind our arms. Come on, Justin, you got it. Like I told him, he did not have to do this on his toes, but he kept going. Now let's finish up with some sit-ups. Up and down, up and down. Let's go. Perfect. Take your time. Make sure you try to keep your feet on the ground. But I do not want your lower back to hurt. If your back is starting to hurt, take your time and do crunches instead. That is totally okay. Keep it moving. Exhale on the way up. Bring your knees as close as you can. We have weights in our arms because it also helps you not use your hands to bring your body up. All right, guys, come on. We're almost done with this round. Exhale, come on. We keep going, keep going. We have a goal to work for and we're gonna reach it. Perfect. One more, we got it, my beginners. Keep going if you need to or take a break. Great job. All right, let's start our second set. Take a break, let's stretch it out. If your stomach's getting tight after those setups, we're gonna do the cobra position to make sure that you're stretching your stomach out. Also, child's pose to stretch out your lower back. Deep breaths, in, inhale and exhale out. Perfect, make sure you do your breathing. Focus on your breathing on these. It is okay to take care of ourselves before we work out. Now let's turn up for the second set. Now, if you want to take it up with me, I am doing hand walks with the jump squats. If you're unable to, that's totally fine. 
do the squats with Justin. It is okay. Take it up to where you can, but I do want you to do your best to work yourself up to what I'm doing. Keep it going, guys, up and down. Listen to your body. It is supposed to burn in your muscles, not in your knees or your hips or in your ankles. So if a joint is hurting, please let me know. All right, back to push-ups. Down and up, let's go. We're gonna burn our arms on these. Up and down, exhale on the way up. You got it. Push. Make sure you know what we're working for, which is tight arms. All right, last set of setups. Tight abs are the foundation of any perfect body. We gotta get these going. Make sure if you need to take a break, take a break, but exhale at the top. Try to push past what you thought you couldn't do. We've gotta push past these points. Let's go, we got it. Almost. Great job, guys. See you next time.